This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. All right, things are getting interesting, folks. A pleasant morning, the first relatively cool day after what felt like weeks of brutal heat wave headlines in the newspapers. After gathering us in the dorm lobby, Michiru delivers this abrupt announcement. Well, maybe she saw a boo. Well, Yumiko is still remembering the eyeball plant. ねえ、Oh, this sounds like quite the intriguing tale. Alright then, how did you happen to meet this ghost of yours, Michiru? Pick up, up, up the pace a bit. You set the AC too low! <laughs> Why? Oh, wow. I was not expecting Michiru to be the one up in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure that's nothing! <laughs> そんな気持ちがいだと思ったわ。でも、その音は感覚を開けて何度も聞こえてくるのよ。そして、そんなギュインギュインがピタッと聞こえなくなったと思ったら、思ったら明かりのついてない真っ暗な廊下をふっと
Oh, yeah! Oh, Michiru's room just has its own bathroom? That's nice. Uh, that's because she really wants to get the right lighter for starting the fire, and she's looking for the one that looks like a gun. It's the coolest one. Yeah, she's right in the middle of planning out how to get rid of that test for you. Need some time to think. I wonder how close we are to the end of Sachi's route, because it seems like it's kind of ramping up towards the end game a little bit. Four gazes settle on me, silently requesting a comment from the person who volunteered to undertake Michiru's request. It's fine, yeah, Sachi's definitely got some tunnel vision right now. But that's just because she's seriously concentrating on this request. It's not like she's completely oblivious to the world around her. That's right, she isn't missing any meals, and she still stops by my room every day. Not surprising. As the end of summer vacation approaches, Sachi's been spending more and more time shut up in her room. Fortunately, the girl does seem to regard maintaining her physical health as one of her responsibilities. I'm pretty sure she's getting at least the minimum necessary nutrition and rest, but... Alright, since you're all so concerned, I'll go check up on her for, for a little while. Right. Got it. Well then, after cleaning the courtyard in Sachi's stead, I make my way over to her room, then pause outside the door. Lately, Sachi has been responding to knocks or even shouts from outside, or she has not. It's becoming a matter of course to barge into her room first and say hello second. I'm coming in. When I enter the room, I'm struck with a powerful sense of deja vu. It's like I'm watching a recording of yesterday, or the day before that. Even from behind, I can tell Sachi's glaring down at her desk with intense focus. Thick reference books and piles of paper lie in messy heaps across its surface. I can't understand how anyone could have that much concentration to just sit in one in place for like two days, doing nothing but studying. I like, I can't. I could not do that. Seems like she's also been doing a little research on the computers in the school building itself. But for the last few days, the vast majority of her time has been spent working alone in her room. Oblivious to my approach, Sachi silently continues to move her eyes across the pages. Sachi? No reaction. Not that I'd been particularly hopeful. Hey, Sachi. I finally succeed in catching Sachi's attention by shaking her shoulder as I speak. Letting her book fall closed, she calmly turns her chair to face me. All this is is a standard part of our new normal, but today I seem to have caught Sachi somewhat off her guard. For a moment, I can see the deep exhaustion in her face. No, can't say there as there is. But Mitra and the others are worried, so I promise to check up on you. Well, your top priority at the moment is fulfilling Michiru's request. I guess you don't have much choice but to slightly neglect the rest for the time being. Only bad girls tell lies. If Sachi truly believes that, there's a question I need to ask her at this point. Sachi, mind if I ask you something? Yes, you told me I could leave this job to you. Is that still true? I avoided asking outright whether she's found a method to get rid of the test, hoping to lead her gently toward revealing the truth. 
But Sachi answers my question without a moment's hesitation. That a fact? As she speaks, Sachi intently returns my gaze. I've seen eyes like these before. There's none of Sachi's familiar spark of confidence, none of her composed determination. These are the eyes of a human being driven into a corner, knowing that all roads lie close to them, still unable to accept their approaching ruin, blindly clinging to an impossible vision of the future. Yes, Marty's still hanging out with Sachi. I, I, don't, I don't even know how close we are to the end of her route, but things are getting interesting. Sachi's eyes are clouded with a narcotic haze of denial. Well, this removes all doubt. Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. A slightly disconcerted expression flashes across Sachi's face, but soon enough she's regained control of her features. In that case, I'll leave it in your hands. But if something comes up, say the word and I'll help any time. After ruffling Sachi's hair for a moment, I quietly leave the room. If Sachi had admitted her dilemma and turned to me for help, events would probably have taken a complete 180 from their current course. And in doing so, I think the answer to my problem would soon have been revealed to her. But instead, Sachi brushed my offer aside and hid her struggle from me. Even to the point of lying, violating her own absolute standards for goodness. Unfortunately, it seems like my preparations won't have been in vain. No. No, are we actually going to burn the school down? Please don't. This is not a good thing to do. Oh boy, there's that Animal Crossing cicada. How many decisions have I made so far in this playthrough? I think I made two or three decisions that I don't think actually affected it. But as far as, like, decisions regarding this route, one. One. And that was just the decision to get on this route. This is... Clannad, this is not. When f someone asks you for a symbol of summer, plenty of things probably come to mind. Cicadas. Watermelon. The beach. Fireworks. Shaved ice. Anyone can make a pretty decent list out of just the obvious standards. We've all experienced every one of these at some point. But for students in particular, one of the more memorable aspects of the summer experience arrives only at its very end. Because you didn't do the homework for the rest of summer, that's why. <laughs> it's exactly. This might be why you're not the best student. <laughs> あなた、一学年下の小峰さんに宿題を手伝ってもらっていたの。だってそっちが許してれば私ができるから。で、思わずその行為に甘えてしまったの。Yep. Wow. Harsh but true. In other words, salary. <laughs> right, Marty? <laughs> yeah, Makina is very savage. Not as savage as Yumiko, though. <laughs> Mishiru's got it tough in her own right. Yes. As I watch Mishiru thrash about, her beloved twin tail swaying from side to side with all the kinetic energy of a traditional J J Chinese lion dance, Sakaki sidles up and requests my attention. Whatever happened to Mishiru's pet cat? He appeared for like two seconds and then disappeared, and I'm disappointed. <laughs> what? You haven't finished your homework either, Sakaki? Not dignifying my attempt at humor with a response, Sakaki pivots on her heel and begins to walk. I follow obediently. Oh yeah, nobody will ever find us in the laundry room. 
After briskly making her way up the stairs to the third floor, Sakaki stops abruptly and turns back to face me. So, why bring me all the way up here? Planning to confess your love or something? Ah, so that's what this is about. Why are there books in the laundry room? Um, so that way you have something to do while you wait for your laundry to be done, because apparently they can't be trusted to leave their laundry alone. I can totally see, like, Machina just being like, I wonder what laundry this person has! Ha 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 ha! Absolutely right on all counts, Sakaki. You'll find out soon enough, wink. <laughs> Such a cynic. I'm not being evasive this time. Well, you just said the word wink. <laughs> It means that Sachi is going to make her move today. <laughs> On that note, I need your help with something, Sakaki. Yeah, first of all, take these! <laughs> I reach to my breast pocket, retrieve the tickets I prepared beforehand, and hold them out for Sakaki to accept. So they're going on the helicopter ride? <laughs> with Mater? <laughs> A, comp a complimentary helicopter ride ticket. Four of them, to be exact. See Mishima Cape's beautiful night scenery spread out below you and all that. With Mater. <laughs> dagum, 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 dagum. We see more of Mishiru's cat and her root. Yes. Good. Yeah, yeah, Machina is literally eight years old. No, I'm perfectly serious. We already talked about the possibility of danger, remember? These tickets have a great deal to do with that. They, the, the fire in the school building can't reach you if you're in a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, it's a win-win. You won't face any unfounded suspicion, and it'll be easier for us to act. Don't ask how Yuji just magically afforded all four tickets to a helicopter ride with Mater, but, you know, glad to hear it. Pretty much, yeah. You did promise to help me out, and I trust you, Sakaki. Never mind the fact that she's tried to murder us several times. Mumbling in a sulky tone of voice, Sakaki quietly sidle, slides the tickets into her pocket. Thanks. I owe you one. Nothing special. Go enjoy the view. Just make sure to you get the others to come along. Maybe get some Dairy Queen beforehand. Over the last few months, I've learned all too well that corralling that group is never an easy task. Also, make sure that Michiru does not fall out of the helicopter. Or Machina. <laughs> I'm counting on you to take care of them, and make sure that Amane doesn't try flying it. Man, how is Yumiko literally the only one with a head on her shoulders? <laughs> Cutting off the conversation, Sakaki turns in to leave the room. Before you go, I want to apologize. Sorry, Sakaki. You'll understand that enough as well. Soon enough as well. <laughs> My wisecrack goes over like a lead balloon. In the end, Sakaki stalks off down the stairs in an even worse mood than before. That's because you can't go five minutes without being a joke. A joke. A jerk. Also a joke. <laughs> Sorry for the hassle, Sakaki. Honest answer, no. Just as I'm leaving my room, I hear Amine and Makina returning through the front door. That's a lot of bags. Shopping expedition, I assume? How so? Sure, sounds like her. 
に言いながらいろいろおまけしてくれたのよさ。Amine, are you seducing the shop owners again? What have we talked about seducing the shop owners? I see. Nothing comes to mind. Maybe they just decided to show some appreciation for your constant patronage. <laughs> Did they think Amine was mocking his single mother? Maybe! I could see that. Amine looks too young for that, but... Not entirely convinced, Amine slowly walks up the stairs to the second floor with her head tilted slightly in puzzlement. Maybe they heard that there was a chainsaw murderer ghost living in the school. <laughs> Come to think of it, no. She hasn't been around. She's buying napalm. That's a possibility, yeah. Got it. I'll pass that on. By snatching half cooked food off the plate when her back's turned? Pretty indignant, considering she's not even denying it. Not bothering to offer a verbal retort, I watch Makina trot energetically up the stairs toward Amine's room. Assuming she's going to act today, Sachi might already have begun to make her preparations. <sighs> Sakaki successfully coaxes the others out. Oh my gosh, that is loud. Those evening cicadas, man. The dorm lies silent and deserted. Alone on the roof, I gaze blanketly out at the sinking sun. I'm sure the others had questions about the sudden event, and why Sachi and I weren't coming along, but none of them got to me. Guess Sakaki was thoughtful enough to take care of that. It's like, look, we have been presented with a once in a lifetime opportunity with four free helicopter rides with Mater. Are we really just going to ask questions, or are we going to ride with Mater? Not long till nightfall. I'm not particularly fond of the night. To be honest, you could say that I actively dislike it. Night is a deep and hostile blackness that swallows us whole. A darkness so absolute that it feels like a premonition of death. It makes us remember things we'd rather forget. Images we've tried to erase from our memories. It shows us, with gut-wrenching clarity, just how weak and powerless we really are. Okay, Drama Queen. Of course, I'm aware that the same does not apply for everyone. But ever since that day, this is just what the night has been for me. Even at a time like this, let down my guard for a minute and I start shaking like an idiot. And tonight, there's more to it than old traumas. The vague anxiety I've felt ever since I decided to bring Sachi's normality is weighing heavily on my shoulders. I felt the same way when I forced her to accept this request. It's something like guilt. I drove Sachi's back to the wall for my own selfish reasons. Got practically everyone I know mixed up into this as well. SHUT UP, CICADAS! And after all that, even if I succeed, will it really make me her any happier? You're gambling with someone's life here. You really all right with that? When I close my eyes, the other side of me whispers its doubts. Look at that. I'm trembling. Still scared of the dark at my age. Almost like a curse, isn't it? The students gathered in this academy all have their quirks, and I'm no exception. Right now, I'm just a piece of defense equipment, kept alive by my country for its own purposes. I hope that's an exaggeration and you're just being a drama queen. I'm not gifted with perfect insight and judgment. I've never been a genius like my sister was. Far from it. Welcome to Japan, where cicadas are loud and crows beat you up. There are crows in Japan that beat you up? I've heard about the murder hornets, but I haven't heard about big crows. <laughs> Am I really qualified to be messing around with her life? When I voice my worries, I feel sweat gathering unpleasantly in the palms of my hands. Still, if I let myself flinch this late in the game, my master would probably come back to life just to kick my ass into next week. That's right. No point in hesitating now. I already made my decision. I'll do everything I can, and I'll believe in Sachi. <laughs>